previously on Tembanamot Mount Kenya. No, so that but, you have a walk over. but endurance tested and certified and certified. But we never come back to Elephant Hill. I, I am not sure. Uh, probably not. This is the toughest thing I've ever done in my whole life. Swap it up into Yo. position. There. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Tembe Anamo. And I'm joined by the lovely, the gorgeous Mercy. <laughs> yeah, she's been she's been part of this hike from the get-go, from when we started at Ngong Hills. Mm -hmm. You remember how we saw that? How uh, we suffered at Ngong Hills and, and then Elephant Hill, and this is our third hike. We're going three hikes to in three months of 2020. Yes, three. Hey, so far, we have mm -hmm. a good track record. Yes. <laughs> so, today, this is our third prep hike. Mm -hmm. uh, last prep hike, but I think we are going to do one more. Yeah, so it's the last prep hike. We are going to Namuncha, which we is at the floor and oh. think of Rifty Valley. Yes. So we are going to be at Maimahi right now. Mm -hmm. There is much traffic. We're waiting for the traffic to clear up for a bit. And then start the hike. The route that we're going to take is uh, just uh, off the that Italian church. I'll mm -hmm. put a, an overlap B-roll over here. That it's opposite. As it's the same way if you're going to Ndiuni. Ndiuni. Into Ndiuni yeah. here. Duny Hill. Hill. Yes. So hey, today we're going to cover 27 kilometers. Are you ready? kilometers <laughs> in the sun, Scotching in the rocks. Sun. I I don't know. We will come back with sunburns once the Mombasa. But hey, we're ready. But the good thing is, may okay. For I don't know, but I prefer a long hike than a steep hike like elephant thank you, hill. <laughs> thank you. Like there are no steep hills, so I know I can sustain my walk for longer. Yes. Yes. As opposed to a hill. Because a hill, you do three steps, you're done. Coming down is even worse. Yes. So, I'm ready for this one. Yes, it's yeah. going to be a long one, 27 kilometers. So, that, that is around 10 hours. Let me tell you, this is the Nairobi Marathon times three. You know the family <laughs> the family walk that we do. I wouldn't 10 know. 10 km, <laughs> three times worse. Yes. So, yeah. So, we are, are you excited? I'm excited, yo! <laughs> well, other than this, a small mishap for guys taking wheat on the road, but yeah. Oh, we're yeah, good, this, we're good. We're this, ready for this one. We've come, we've come across uh, an accident that has mm. happened that has blocked this Maimahi road. But anyway, all is set. We are psyched. We are super stoked. Mm -hmm. And if we conquer today, we are going to be you ready guys, for Mount Kenya. Kenya has nothing on Kai, us. T minus one month. <laughs> T minus. Exactly less than a month because it's on 9th of April. And today so is 14. Today is 14. T minus one month. Call it 27 days. <laughs> 20, 27 days. <laughs> yes. But we are ready. We are super stoked. So the route we are going to be taking, we are going to go down the floor of Rift Valley and up the one escarpment, come out on the other yes. side. Day, yeah. Seven, 27 kilometers. Have I said 27 kilometers Let me enough tell you times? Guys, I have <laughs> my watch. I'm gonna count my steps. 27 because, well, kilometers. 27 kilometers is not a main fit. Have you been training? <laughs> Let's just say I have been skipping my road. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to see if the body is going to tolerate. Yeah. So let's get our breakfast on and we'll see you there. Bye. Bye. And we're just about to start the hike. We are at the starting point. We've had to drive Kidogo into the hike because we are late. There was mad traffic along my Mahio, which takes me to take number one. If you're going to come for this hike or any hike that is around this area and using the Maimahio route, make sure to start pretty early because this road is notoriously known for traffic, for you can just give allowance for that nini. Uh, traffic situation so yes it's going to be a long day we have 10 hours ahead of hiking it's a really hot day already it's going to be a uh, sorry 
Sorry, I've had to move because the place I had I was in Kulikwana someone had spotted snakes earlier. Anyway, quick intro. It's going to be a long day. It's going to be a, we are set out to for ten hours of hiking in this sun. It's around Duncan, what time is it? Oh. It's around nine thirty and it's already spotting hot. Ten hours we're about we'll finish around seven, eight. Nine, depending on how we, how fast we go. Anyway, let's start this hike and get ready for Mount Kenya. Let's go. So we're just transversing to the floor of Rift Valley. There's so many beautiful ranges. I hear and the only is past this one i think we're going to see a couple of more hills as we continue this hike i think we're already in we're already like one hour or so into the hike and so far so good the sun is ruthless today but it's it's a prop, it's a good hike. It's mostly tambarare tambarare. There is no okay. We've not gotten to the steep parts, but I hear the terrain basically is just tambarare mostly. And then towards the end is where we're going to see to go up the hills. So I will keep you updated as we go as we move. Look at this. Looks like you're in Naivasha. This is what we are working with. Beautiful. And when, it, when it's so still and so quiet, listen to that. Mother Nature showing off. So serene. So, still on the trail. Um, we're getting closer to some hills. <laughs> I think very soon you're going to start going up. It's too hot. It's clear. Okay, there's some kidogo clouds, but it's basically clear sky. It's too hot. So today, our water requirement is up to four liters. Everyone is required to have four liters. And we've been advised to dress down to avoid losing a lot of water through sweat and causing explosion so 10 hours I don't know how that will be but I'm excited oh yeah we've started picking up Kidogo incline there we go I think we're going this way I think you're going through that range. Go behind those ranges somewhere. Yeah. We still have a couple more hours of this, so let's see how it goes. And real. <laughs> Look at this. So unbothered. Come, I want bite. I want bite. Come. So, we are at the first pit stop uh, at this stream. It's called Uwaso. It's a nice. <laughs> it's a nice cool point. Our first water break, and clearly the. The Mbuzis are also having a water break. Yeah, so let's hide it. Is this bone tail food? 
Uh, it could be because at least the the oats uh, holds your your tummy for a while. Uh huh. The protein is good for you. Oh, this milk too. There's a dash of milk. So say 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 there's that again. There is oats. oats. Mm -hmm. Butter. Mm -hmm. There's a milk and a ready oats. yogurt. And yogurt. Yes. Mm. So those proteins are good for you. Mm -hmm. That. Muscle uh -huh. and the, the, the oat hold your hold your tummy. Oh. So you feel full. Yeah. Where? In a car, bad food. No, it's it's bad. As in no, as in bad. Yeah. Tonyoni, tonyoni. Man food. This is where mountain food. Ah, yeah. Let's get our marigo on. Marigo on. A banana. Instant energy. Ah, yeah. Sawa. Break time. To miss mama pa kwa e river. Then, then you put on a banana. So you add, on top of that you put it. Hey, I think I, sh I will consult you on the on the snacks that I will carry for Mount Kenya. Oh yeah, you come. I will. So we do the the nini the the two potes. Eh? Nini put on the shafashi? Shafashi is also that shafashi looks nice. Gosh. It's so fresh. You promote local tourism by eating shafashi. You've you've sourced it from there. That can you Aki na ka tamu. Fresh, fresh. Ah, Mr. Aki, thank you. Okay, Aki, see your cloud cover to Ika even yeko. Wow! This sun! Ukitaka stock ya juwa kujia uku. This is where they stock up. Uku wano uza wholesale at a fair price. There's um, a mine, a mining plant. So, heat in a qual three times. There's the sun. Okay. But we we'll progress. This is picture perfect Maasai land, the floor of Rift Valley. You can I see. Guy. Mm -hmm. So this is what you have to deal with. Miba everywhere. Miba na miba. Miba itakutia miba. They're everywhere. So, apa usikuja na slipper sa mangoma. Kuja na ngoma utakuwa. <laughs> this is called a whistling tongue. Ton, 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 ton. Quick update. So when you're walking through, I mean when you're hiking through this car route, this car hike you'll spot different ranges so just to give you a brief this here is Mount Suswa this one is Longo Notch and then this is Kijabe and then Ndioni is behind this this big surrounding thingy and then on the other side also is William Hill and that's where we are headed. Apparently, we are supposed to have lunch behind somewhere around here. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's a very scenic place. This is the the Nini, the floor of Rift Valley. You can see stretches to the far end. Temporary but very rocky. Aluta. this gorge over here I don't know if it's supposed to be a rift or probably it may break you on a mother let me go find out I uh, Duncan says this Kipara hill <laughs> is new ni. Ah, word from Duncan so yeah Nduni is one of the prep hikes you can do if you're planning to do Mount Kenya or Kilimanjaro. 
Or if you're a ninja, like I am, you can come and do this 27 kilometers and test your endurance. Still going strong. At this point, we're just following the SGR. One side. And then a buffet of hills on the other side. We've enjoyed a long stretch of Tambarare. But now, we've got to go up this stretch. Because that's up there, that's where we're having our lunch. I'm already tired. But, it doesn't look that bad. Whee! Let me not speak before I do it. How does Japan die anywhere? Barely up the hill. Still have more to go. And I'm not saying I've given up, but <laughs> <laughs> they're laughing at me. I am not giving up, but Nikoyo area hood, neighborhood. Okay, give up, Uta Uta Rudi. Ah, so give up. I'm already too. Let me hydrate. Niki hydrate. He na slay. Danka, ni chekele tu jifiche tu. See that guy oh. over there? Hey. We are just in the rain. Hi. This is the final stretch and then lunch. Where we are going, I don't even want to know. I don't even want to look anyway. Hi. Today I'm embracing a cat's life. Nine lives because I've already died three times and resurrected. <laughs> As in this Kahil, I've basically been on my fours because <sighs> I may think Utembe upright is so, so overrated, <laughs> aka separation, aka Machesa. But you gotta do what you gotta do to get to the summit, and that is the first one rewarded by lunch. A couple of hours later. We finally at the summit of Namuncha where we're breaking for lunch. Oh, and the views are to die for. Look at that. An interrupted view of just ranges stretching on end. So apparently we are going with the to zoom in. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. We are going Stars are that's where we are going next. But that's afternoon Maureen's <laughs> problem <laughs> right now. Let me fuel up, fuel up, and continue the hike. So far, I've died three life, three. I've, I've died three times. I still have six more. <laughs> I'm embracing the life of a cat today, walking on fours and dying three times. Anyway, so far so good. Let me fuel up, take, have a bit of rest, and then continue the hike. Hiya. Fueled up. To Beshiba. Energy level in to 98. Sasa. So, is this decent really? Kama tulena kuna surprise huko at the end of it all. Hakuna surprise. Ah yeah. We are done with Namuncha. That's descending Namuncha. Have to balance and talk at the same time. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Struggles. Ah, yeah. We are done with Namuncha. Namuncha kicked my behind. Died three times, but she can survive. She can survive. Yeah. Uh, so, so, now, how many kilometers do you think we've covered so far? Many. Okay, we've covered many kilometers, and we still have many more, many more, many more. more to go. Ah, uh, so we are here till the end of the day. Let's continue. This is the descending view. It's just ranges and ranges. It's like having a buffet of a hiker's buffet. You just choose which one you want to go up on. Naivo. Dealer's choice. Hi. Let me put off my camera before I slide and fall. And die. Why oh, are we trying to chase that rain? Now that we left all our rain gear in the car. To learn about what's a rain gear. Hi. See you at the end point. 
Hey, but this view is your so that is what we are trying to run away from it's dark pregnant clouds and then this is where we're headed and pregnant Duncan. <laughs> You know, I was looking for girls and I can't find guys. <laughs> you can listen to this a whole afternoon. I will lally. I know the bear. Just listen to that. It's 4 45 a.m. We've covered, I think, much of the trip so far. Wow. We can see where we are supposed to come out because we are supposed to come out through Neya. And we can see it's just right behind me. It's not that close, but it looks close. But I think we've covered more ground than we are yet to do. Yeah, coming. Oh, minu nangoja. Oh, sawa. Yes, that's that. That's our final battle of the day. <sighs> Supposedly, it's two times namunta. Difficult. <laughs> but after that, after that, we are done. How are you feeling? So tired. We are all so tired. Too big. And this trip has apparently saved the best for last, <laughs> or the worst for last. Because for us to get home, we have to go up that hill, that last hill, which is, I think, the most intense part of this trip. But anyway. Conclusively, I think I'll even conclude the vlog here because I'm too tired to hold up the camera. How was the, how was the day? Good, uh -huh. but tearing the sun was too hot. The sun was really hot today. I prefer the colder, colder many places, places go. compared to the sun. Yeah, but how do you feel in terms of testing your endurance? And if you can hack this, I hold it. Uh, you can do anything. I hold it. Yeah, so I think by the end of it all, we are more confident that we are going to manage Mount Kenya. Where is Mercy? <laughs> more confident we are going to do to manage Mount Kenya. So basically, this trip it's called endurance test for a reason. As in, the, it's not as punishing as Elephant Hill, but the long treks. <laughs> The long tracks and the sun. See, I'm a shade darker with sunscreen and a hat and all those things. Marcy, what did you think about this this trip? We might as well just end the vlog here. Yeah. <laughs> here is Marcy. How's it? Ah, Wasteless. We still have one hill to go. How was the trip? Was easy. Ah, okay. Still going but still have my walking stick. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, was your endurance tested? And do you think totally. you can, do you think you're ready for Mount Kenya now? Okay. You've proven let's, to yourself. Let's get to those towers over there. Just show them the towers. Yeah, I've already done that. So, like I said, the last stretch is getting it's one. Hill. Yes, I think the toughest part of this was the light. Here's the light. So, we have to get to that hill. Actually, it doesn't look that big from the on the camera. But that hill, that is that is that is us between us and home. <laughs> yeah. So if you're planning on doing this trip, tip, tip number one, uh, carry a lot of water because you'll be exposed to the sun the whole day. Not even for the better part of the day, the whole day. Carry at least four liters of water. And uh, it's the terrain here is quite rocky, so make sure. Okay, where's the light? Make sure, make sure to have uh, proper, shoes. proper, proper shoes for hiking, because if you come here with sports shoes or even those soft, soft soled hiking shoes, you're going to suffer. You're going to feel the pressure of the rocks. Mm. What else? What else? Um, walking stick if you can. Yeah, walking stick if you can. Um, change of clothes if it gets too hot, you can have a change of clothes. Oh, yeah, you need to to keep your sugar levels high. Whew, I almost fainted today, by the <laughs> you need to carry snacks that will like will give you immediate sugar. And I don't know if I got enough footage today. <laughs> 
because I was under torture. <laughs> but we'll work with whatever we'll work with. This this vlogging and hiking thing. Hey, Charlie Karomi, kudos to you. It's tough, tough man. But anyway, I hope uh, I gave you an idea of how this trail is. 27 kilometers that we're going to end up there. In case I don't continue, I'll think I'll end the vlog here. <laughs> but let's see. I think there's still energy in me. But let's see. Okay, let's tackle that last stretch. Be sure to subscribe, like this video, comment, share, and we'll see you on Mount Kenya. Bye. Good job, good job, Tunde. Nice, let's go. Push, strong. Nice one. And an eye.